Well, 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 howdy, howdy, howdy there. This is Paul Paul doing it short and sweet. Do y'all know what this is? This here is a dryer motor that goes in a whirlpool dryer. This here is a plug that plugs into the motor. What I've done did is put me a, made me a tester. See that? All dryer motors are 110 volts. They're not wired into the 240 volt heater circuit. They're wired into the motor circuit, which includes the door switch, the start switch, and the motor. And uh, the motor runs off the neutral, which is the white wire. And the start wire goes on the black, which is not needed for this test. And the blue wire is run. So all I had to do was hook up blue and white. Now these two big red wires are in the heater circuit. And what they do is cause the switch inside the motor is centrifugal. And when it takes off and starts running, then it powers up one and two terminals. Interesting, huh? Alright, what I'm going to do is plug in the motor to see if it runs. Here we go. Action cam. Action cam. Ball ball. You seen it here first. Yeah, babe. All plugged in. Had to go get the power. wasn't wasn't prepared. All right, let's try it. See if the motor works. <laughs> Check it out. Look at that. Pretty cool. Now you hear that growl at the start? That's the the bearings going out in this one. And see how it stops them almost immediately. Now, I have made other videos where I've taken and drilled out a hole here and drilled another one here and filled them up with oil, zoom spout oil. But anyway, fun with motors! <laughs>